So, you want to have a seat? We'll call Tammy because she's on her lunch break. Okay. We'll video chat the How are things at the facility? Yeah, it's going. I miss eating so much. I miss my bed. I miss my house. I miss my own things. I don't want to come home. Does the facility think you need to stay in there? Or do you, or is it you just wanting to come home? I, I mean, they want you to stay is what it is, right? Yeah. That is total So how much weight have you lost totally? 59 pounds. I thought you were supposed to stay up there until you lost 100 pounds. Now she's wanting to come home. That makes me anxious because she don't have a good track record of coming home and sticking to a diet. Yeah, she lost some weight. Don't get me wrong. Kudos to you, but you still got a whole lot of weight to lose before you can have the surgery. Good work. I'm not giving up. Just because I'm homesick and want to come home does not mean I'm giving up. Y'all need to have more faith in me. I'm not mad at you about anything. I'm not mad at you. But I'm disappointed that you're coming home early. All right, we'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. When I dropped Tammy off, I had high hopes that she was actually going to take the right step forward. But she hasn't made her 100-pound weight go yet. So doubts are really setting in if she's gonna stick to the diet after she gets home. It's cold. Hey, Tammy. How's it going? Yeah, good. Are you sure you wanna come home? I'm just worried about you falling off the wagon. I mean, I understand your concern, but I wanna do it on my own. Tammy's an addict, and there's no difference between a food addiction than a heroin addiction. They gotta want to get better. Forcing Tammy to stay there, she's not going to do anything the doctors want, and she's liable to get kicked out of the facility if, if we put her in that situation. Ow! Remember what I told you. You're Just right. keep saying no. Yes. Okay? <laughs> if you need us for anything, call us. Hey, okay? good luck. Thank you. All right. Have Thank a safe you. trip. Thank you. You ready for this long ride back, Tammy? Yes. You stink. All I know is that heat feels wonderful. It don't smell wonderful. <laughs> Is that Uncle Chris and Brittany and Aunt Tammy? As we pull up to the house, Amy, Michael, and Gage were sitting outside. About time. I missed a little bit Hold on, let me get her some shoes. Oh, what? How are you going to get in there? Even though I'm happy to see Tammy, we don't really show emotions in this family. But I didn't expect her to bite my head off when she came in the door. Mom. Mom. Wait up! Mm. What are you doing, to the Huh? Is you told? Is you told? Amy, does Tammy look like she's lost some weight? I can't really tell she's with fine. my blindness. <laughs> if she loses a lot, lot, like over 300, I could probably tell. But 60, I can't really tell. And I'm not trying to be mean about it. I just can't. Is my eyesight going bad, too? Because she ain't lost no weight. I'm trying, damn. What? Yeah. Even though I don't agree with Tammy coming home, I still wanted to make the place right and make her feel like she was missed. 
because that's what sisters do, even though one sister does it more than the other. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just hope that she will do what she needs to do. My heart is telling me that she's going to go back on the way she was, but my head is telling me try to be optimistic. Optimistic. <laughs> Don't use big words that you can't say. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you trying to figure out who I am? How was the draft? Long. Chris kept farting on me. What are you doing, Rice? How many times did you before? Don't let her lie. I can't help it. But it wasn't a bad ride. It was long, but I mean, Tammy handled it a whole lot better coming down. She did going up. That's good. So, she was able to walk probably 15 or 20 steps. So that was, there's obviously there's a lot of improvement that she's done since she's been gone. So I'm really proud of her for that. Tammy, I got you a present. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. Open it. Tammy can't use the kitchen stove because the knobs are so far away and her belly gets in between her and the stove. Oh, crap. So I gave Tammy this cooktop and this table so she can be independent, and I ain't got to do it for her. We know that you have issues <laughs> with the oven and the stove because you can't reach over it. So we got it to help you be more independent. You don't have any excuse. A good time. Hey, Camden. Not that country. This is a strange gift. It's like, here, start cooking. Return the cinder. We cannot let you continue the way you were. That's almost different. I understand that, and I'm glad. But at the same time, there's going to have to be rules, you know, some some rules set. Just at least try. I guess I wouldn't. This is kind of frustrating. You know, first day home, I don't want to hear them set rules. I lost some weight. Why can't they give me a break? We're going to hold you accountable because we ain't taking no 